Hi everyone, it is March 5, 2015. I'm going to be reading a couple of paragraphs from this incredible article, Microwave Mind Control by Tim Rifat. I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. But he is a scientist in the UK and he did an awful lot of research on microwave weapons and how they are being used against the general public. This article focuses on the UK, but yes, they are being used here in the United States. They are made visible to us in those manufactured clouds and those chemtrails. And I'm going to be showing you clips of film that I took here in South Carolina of these electromagnetic and microwave frequencies. They are very dangerous. They are absolutely being used against us. And it is one of the reasons why we are seeing such a breakdown in, in all kinds of behavior. Um, one of the reasons why so many Americans just can't critically think. One of the reasons why we're facing so many adult Americans who are acting like they're in seventh grade. We can't seem to engage in adult conversation. But the paragraphs that I'm going to be focusing on reveal the, a whole range of symptoms that they can induce with these microwaves. I do highly recommend it. I especially recommend it to those who are targeted, those individuals who have to live the nightmare of direct targeting of these frequencies. Because he does go into a lot of detail about the tactics that they use. And don't think that because he's focusing on the UK that it's not happening here in the US. It is absolutely happening here in the US. So let me start on the paragraphs and here, here's a clip of what the sky looked like today. And before I begin, let me just say that this article was written, I'm going to guess about 10 years ago. There's no date on that article page, but I read this about four years ago. Just imagine how they're using this technology today. So. My research has found that microwave weapons are targeted on middle-class troublemakers and researchers who cause problems for the establishment. Russian and American research has found that pulse modulated microwaves, as used for mobile phones, can, when modulated with ELF, which mimics specific brain patterns, change the behavior of the victim at the flick of a switch. It has been found that UK security police such as MI5, use the 450 megahertz frequency and legally allowed to be used by the police for behavioral control. A vast catalog of mind control frequencies in the megahertz range, FM radio, TV, and mobile phone frequencies have been measured, which are used in the UK for mind control and killing or disabling victims. Symptoms can be depression, befuddled thinking, loss of memory, stress, not being able to cope, manic behavior, schizophrenia, nervous breakdowns, physical collapse, brain and nervous system damage, heart attacks, cancer. Precisely modulated microwave radiation is used to influence brain function. Human behavior and reactions can be entirely controlled by using pulse modulated microwave EM radiation. Pulse modulated microwaves are useful as the carrier for the mind control signals as they are able to pass through the skull, which is rather resistant to low level EM. The massive number of microwave antennae that dot the country, that dot our country, all of the cell phone towers and the Gwen towers, all of the satellites, some of which are used for the microwave phone network, all use pulse modulated microwaves, which makes their use for a strategic mind control device against the civilian population in times of trouble or rioting, crucial to modify the behavior of the general population. In modern democracies, it is no longer viable to shoot rioters or torture dissidents by normal means as the bad publicity is self-defeating Thus, microwave weapons have been developed by the UK's military intelligence as they leave no marks or gaping wounds. 
let me just interject here, they're still using those methods of torture because evil people, I guess, like it. They like to see people suffer at their hands. Anyway, this pulse-modulated microwave carrier beam can then be used to carry signals. These signals are extremely low frequency recordings of brain electrical potentials, which have been recorded by neuromedical researchers such as Dr. Ross Addy. Dr. Ross Addy's research at the Brain Research Institute of the University of California was funded by the CIA. In their Pandora project, a catalog of different brain signals for specific actions, emotions, and pathological states of mind were recorded. It was found that when microwaves were used to fire these signals at victims' brains, they experienced the moods, behavior, and the pathological states carried by the signals. This meant that by mimicking natural brain frequencies, the human brain could be controlled remotely by use of extremely low frequency broadcasts carried by pulse modulated microwave beams. ELF pulse modulated microwave remote mind control technology. Those are key words that you can search. It is now possible to broadcast mind control commands directly into the brain by use of microwave beams. All that is needed is a catalog of every specific brain frequency for each mood, action, and thought. These catalogs of excitation potentials are available. Russia was first to catalog the specific brain frequencies, but the UK and the US now have them as well. Particular excitation potential is then broadcast by pulse modulated microwave transmitters. This pulse modulated microwave beam has the ELF excitation potential frequency imprinted upon it. It was found that each behavioral set in humans had a distinctive frequency. There was one for anger, suicide, hysteria, trauma, serial killing, paranoia, lust, etc. Every other human emotion that you could think of and human response. The intelligence agents can also use low-level microwaves to cause mental and physical confusion that leads to illness. Beaming microwaves at victims makes them fatigued, damages their immune system, causes neurological damage that affects their thinking and ability to carry out tasks, induces premature aging, cancer, and cataracts. So yeah, they can induce behavioral aberrations. They can induce manic or insane behavior in people to discredit them. They can induce a vicious bout of the flu. Person feels like they have the flu, yet they don't have the virus. They can induce heart attacks. And very often, they're used against dissidents, those people that cause trouble for the elite. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I just wanted to read this because I do know that a whole lot of you are affected yourselves by these frequencies and affected by people who are affected by these frequencies and who are behaving in rather bizarre ways. And while there's not much we can do about it, at least having the knowledge, at least understanding what might be behind a lot of what we're witnessing today in people, in our relationships, Understanding it helps us to take a step back and just kind of like say, okay, this might be some force that's invisible happening right now, and don't engage. Don't get upset about things. It's hard not to, but at least if you have some basis, you know, of understanding, it helps us to maintain our own sanity. All right, guys, I hope you're all doing well, and have a great day tomorrow. Ciao.